street. Nope. Seatbelt? Nope. See? Nope. No, 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 no. No, but close. S, S, S. There's literally nothing else that starts with S. We're in the middle of nowhere. Do you give up? Yep, I give up. Tell me. Speak of dust. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Jono. Can't you see it? It's right here. Ouch! <laughs> Jono, Mum, Jono poked me. You kids better behave yourself at Pa's house. He has a lot of old things around, so you need to take extra care. But Marita, your dad loves kids. I'm sure he'll let them play with all his precious collectibles. Hmm? <laughs> pa will be delighted to see us all. I'm sure we'll have a lovely time. Do you think Pa has any video games? Mm, I don't think so. How was the drive out here today? See anything interesting? <sighs> Jono saw some dust. The island is looking particularly green. I noticed there's birds everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great season for bird watching. <laughs> How's your mum, Sefa? Oh, she's still in hospital. But she's doing much better. Thanks. Good to you. Hey, Pa! Do you have any video games that we could play with? I have a few bird-watching books. They have interesting pictures in them. Would you like to look at those? Uh, no thanks. Now, is that how you like your tea? It... it's... Fine. Thanks, Pa. And what about you, kids? Can I get you some boo? Coconut water? Coconut water? Your kids don't drink coconut water? We don't really drink much coconut water in Australia. I'm shocked, Josepha. I would have thought that this is part of their staple diet. Have you ever told them about the Great Saltu? No. of years old! Mm, no, first published in the 1980s. On a particular island, on a beautiful beach with a glittering sea laps the finest of sand, there is a place where the coconuts grow. Legendary palms reaching up to the clouds grow in abundance of the finest of fruit. And there in the cool of the shadow sits... You know what? We should go and pick some fresh coconuts ourselves. It's OK, Pa. We came here to see you. Are you kidding? My house is boring, isn't it, kids? Come on, forget about making small chat. Let's go and have some real fun down at the beach. So there they are, the great coconut trees, otherwise known as the towers. These are the tallest coconut trees known to mankind. Whoa! I guess picking coconuts isn't quite the same as picking apples. I don't even think a giraffe could reach those. I think we need a dinosaur. Well, actually, the best way to get coconuts is Little to... Little bro, Sefa, wasn't expecting to see you here. Hey, Bruce, I see you're busy at work. Of course. We've been cutting bamboo to make these billy billies. You made these? Sure did. So what brings you down to the beach this fine day? Apparently, we have to drink some boo. Oh, Pa's going to pick some coconuts for us. <laughs> I'm not going to pick them. Have you seen the size of those palms? I was going to ask. Us. Of course, we can help you. Ratu and I are experts at coconuts. As far as I know, there is only one who has ever been able to scale those palms and pick those coconuts. It requires the greatest skill and strength. Skill and strength are our middle names. Check out these muscles. Penny, let's show them how it's done. First, you need to pick the shortest tree. That'll make it easier. Then, you flex your muscles and you begin to climb. You're almost there, Ratu. Keep going. But I think I'm falling! Huh? 
my muscles aren't in peak form today. Maybe I didn't eat enough wheat pigs this morning. What if we just ask... If at first you don't succeed, try another way. You see, kids, getting coconuts down is really very simple. You just have to be real gentle. Give the tree a little cuddle, then start to shake it a little bit. The coconuts will eventually come loose and fall gracefully to the ground. No coconuts yet. Uh -huh. Just a little patience, Ratu. OK, this isn't working. Maybe we try the aggressive approach. Come on, you stubborn coconuts. Come down. This is not what I had in mind. Me neither. Let's just wait it out. <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> shadows sat the one they call the great Sotu. And on this day, the little boy approached the ever watchful Sotu and simply asked for a coconut. Excuse me, sir, he said to the great Sotu. Could you get me a coconut? The great Sotu looked up and replied, have you not seen the size of these palms, boy? They reach to the highest of heavens. But I'm hungry and you're the only one here. I believe you can do it. If only you'd try. The great Sotu slowly got to his feet and looked deep into the boy's pleading eyes. And with a knowing grin, he placed his hands on the oldest and tallest of trees. The little boy looked in awe as he watched the power of the great Sotu. Powerful arms worked with powerful legs, effortlessly scaling the palm. Then the coconut showered like rain from above, sweet manna in glorious abundance. And the great soul too, and the little boy feasted as the sun set in all its glory. I think we need the great soul too to help us out. Does he still live here? No, he moved to a foreign shore. And as far as I know, he no longer picks coconuts. Oh, if only the great soul too was here with us now. That's crazy talk. The great soul too is just a myth. It's just a kid's picture book. I wouldn't be so sure. The last I heard, he returned to this very beach. No way! He may be closer than you realise. Well, I am famished. Why don't you ask your dad for a coconut? Ah, uh, OK. Dad, could you please get us some coconuts? Hey, bro, can you mind these for me? Where are you going? This tree is too short. The best coconuts are in the really tall palms. What? Dad is the great South Do? Watch out, everyone! That's a coconut shower! Now, throw your coconuts in the air. That's how the great Sautu does it. I'll go and get the straws. That was so cool, Dad! Can you teach me how to do that someday? <laughs> you were right, Pa. This boo is so refreshing. You know what would go great with these? Snacks! Oh, no! It's stuck! You just have to be real gentle. Give the machine a cuddle. Then start to shake it a little bit. The taro chips will eventually come loose. No chips yet, bros? Just a little patience, Ratu. Nope. Let's try the aggressive approach. On this particular island, on a beautiful beach, where the glittering sea laps the finest of sand, the great soul tool may still be seen, providing coconuts for one and for all. 